Come on, I think he, I think he's one off. One off. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Is that it? Oh my god! I love that symbol, bro. Look at this. Oh my god, that's so dope. That's so freaking dope. <laughs> this man all hyped. Look at him. Oh, I love that countdown at the top. That's so dope. Let me know if you guys want to drop a tactical nuke in the comment section below. Like for a mini map. A couple of people have already gotten a tactical nuke. I'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen a tactical nuke already. This is my boy for getting a tactical nuke now. And the settings in this video will hopefully help you get a tactical nuke just like my boy Karma and especially my boy Korea here. Let's, let's look at this real fast. Oh my. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna react just like that when I get it. I know that for a fact. This man's tweeting it too in the middle of the react. <laughs> Drop a like. Oh <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! If you guys want to see a minimap permanently in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, like the video right now and go on Twitter and tweet out hashtag release the minimap. Infinity Ward needs to know Infinity Ward needs to know that you guys are very very vocal if you believe the minimap should be permanently in the game. This is an important issue, so drop a like and do what I just said because we can make the game way better with our support. So keep being big ballers and here's the rest of the video. So uh what's up guys? It's here here by Nino or Quadigy. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over my best settings for Modern Warfare to hopefully help you guys get some good old tactical nukes. Um, this game is a lot more slow paced than a lot of you might have learned from various tweets from other YouTubers or any of your friends that already have the game and they play on Twitter or through word of mouth. This game is a lot more slow paced and I'm going to be helping you guys hopefully perform the best in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So press start and you'll see that you have all your settings here. So for controller settings, I use Bumper Jumper Tactical Flipped, which you flip by pressing the square button. Also, hope you guys enjoyed the face cam by the way. Thanks to you guys, I've been able to get a new computer and I've been able to do so much more. So, if you guys love the face cam, you guys like the little overlay that I got going, I just, I just want to say thank you for making this happen for me. I'm just, I'm glad to bring even more high quality gameplay or features or whatever the case is. So, yeah, without further ado, let me, let me keep talking about the exciting. I keep it flipped just because I have a better time pressing L1 to aim in instead of L2. L2 I actually used to jump using this uh, this controller setting. So if you want to jump shot a little bit easier, this is the way to do it. In my opinion, jumping isn't really that effective. I want to say crouching is a lot more faster because it takes less energy to crouch than to jump in this game. And I feel like by the time you do jump, people are already going to melt you. Because the time to kill in this game is pretty, pretty fast, or, or decently fast, at least in my opinion. So, think about crouch shotting instead of jump shotting a little bit. Jump shotting can be super useful if you're running around with like an SMG or something, so give it a shot, I guess. The next thing I want to talk about is the sensitivities. For my horizontal and my vertical, I just keep it both on 7. I used to play like a 9-9 or an 8-8 on other Call of Duties. But for Modern Warfare, I've had to like lower it just a bit, just because I want to make sure my aim is steady enough so that I'm tracking targets a little bit more perfectly and some people end up being more on head glitches so I ended up lowering my sensitivity a little bit more. And that's also to help, uh, you know, scale the fact that there are 20 sensitivities on this game as you guys are seeing right here. So, you know, you want you want to keep it to like a 7-7, seven, seven, at least if you used to play on like 9-9 nine, nine or 8-8. Eight, eight. If you used to play on a higher sensitivity, then you know, scale it to however you want. It's all personal preference, but that's what I run with. Now with these ADS sensitivity multipliers, I tend to keep them about the same, around like 60% or so. As you guys can see here, I just feel I feel like 0.50 is way too slow. But if I keep it at 0.60 or 0.70, when you aim down sides and you try to track an opponent, it's a lot easier to do it with with a lower ADS sensitivity. If, if you want to be a crackhead and bump it up to like what I think it goes up to like 2.0 or something go crazy. Ah, yeah it probably go goes up to like 2 yeah if you want to go to 2 then go for it that, that's up to you it's like I said it's all personal preference but I tend to keep mine around 0.6 uh, for the both of them just for, for consistency reasons 
I have my controller vibration off, just makes it easy for me to stay on target. And now aim assist. I am a fan of precision because as you guys uh, see there, you I don't know if you can see because of my face cam, but it's a strong aim slowdown that only kicks in when you're aiming close to the target. It's best for accurate players. So say, so for me, for example, I'm already aiming out of sights everywhere, but if I see an opponent and I'm really good at ADSing already to the point where I'm almost in front of them, then this precision aim assist will make it so that I'm really, really on track uh, to pretty much destroying them. So I just find it to be the most strongest one. Focusing is nice, but it's only if you're, you're not as accurate as if you're as if for precision. So focusing is more for your like, you're not as accurate, but precision is for those accurate players. And, and I want to say I'm already an accurate player, so I just stick to precision for, for my own sakes. Uh, everything else here I kept the same, I believe. Yeah, everything else here I kept the same. You can also switch between controller and keyboard and mouse. See if you guys wanna wanna try that out. <laughs> let me let me know how you, how many of you guys are playing keyboard and mouse in the comments section below. I'm curious if there's any keyboard and mouse players on my freaking YouTube videos. I freaking love you guys, by the way. If you guys have been enjoying the video so far, make sure you guys drop a like in case these settings might help you. Keep film green at zero and make sure to disable world motion blur and weapon motion blur because if you don't disable these two then the game is gonna be kind of distracting visually so just keeping it disabled is the best thing for you for audio i tend to keep it at headphones one master volume should always be at 100 music volume you want to keep that kind of low because you want to sound for the actual game dialogue you don't want voices distracting you from the actual game but you still want to make it kind of high enough so you can hear some call outs uh, effects volume keep that all the way up so you can hear footsteps as much as possible Oh, they even have uh, Juggernaut music. I didn't even realize that. It's so cool that they have Juggernaut music. Uh, whenever the Juggernaut is available for us to use, uh, I guess it's up to you if you like the music or not, if you want to enable or disable it or not. I think that's it. So, for the rest of this video, I'm going to have a nice little gameplay where I play with my boy Silas301. In, in case you guys don't know, I'm actually he's actually signed to Bobby Boy Records or Logic's record label, and I've been friends with him for a couple of years, so... If you haven't checked him out, make sure to check him out on Twitter. Check out his new album, 1998. It's freaking fire. But yeah, I play I play a couple games with him and all of my other friends, RDJ, Bully, Risky, and my friend Sophia. We run a full six man and we just dominate. So you hopefully you enjoy the gameplay and uh, learn how to use these sensitivities the best. But you guys drop a like, subscribe, and you turn on the post notifications for more modern warfare content. And let me know. Do you wanna drop a nuke in modern warfare? I know I'll drop one really, really soon, and you guys will see a gameplay of it. I freaking love you guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah! Let's run it. Let's see what you think of this, Silas. I see you're slapping those 2v2s. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like the 2v2s are my favorite part. I don't know how I feel about this multiplayer. What's up? They're all flanking, right? I got one right. Oh my goodness. No way. Oh shit. Oh, you guys are pussies. There's three at B. Yep. Nice. Oh, he was up top. I didn't even see him. I'm low key pushing him. <laughs> <laughs> God, bro, this guy did not give up, bro. He was literally. Oh man, kid of you. Behind us, left They're side. Push here. They're in the the warehouse, right where right side warehouse. Yeah, we're going up. One hour spawn. Oh, they got a cruise missile. Yeah, we're trapped for the missile. I I stunned them uh, ah. uh, That cruise has a big uh, radius. I spawned C. Uh, Alright, I'm in response to it. This guy literally just spawned right there. Shit. Maybe he's coming up. Oh, nice. Get out of here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
keep it going. We got a spawn charge right now, I think. Yeah. Keep it going. I think he's gonna go in the building. I'm watching the window. Yeah, it's one in the window. You got it? Good, good shit. Yep. This dude, wow, I was one off my chopper. Oh, you suck. Huh, peek. Oh, yeah, also, if you didn't know, you can actually reload while uh, aiming down. Sights. UAV. I got a chopper. Shit. Oh, call it in. Call it in, Silas. Chopper going to first game? <laughs> okay, I see you. Just a fucking beast. Not only a beast on the mic, but a beast on the sticks. Hey. <laughs> oh, crap. I ran out of ammo. GG, boys. Let's go. 20, 27 kills. I think that's good. I don't know. 66. Thanks for watching until the end of the video. If you guys are interested, I do. I am going to be streaming on twitch.tv slash the market hero um, every single day, pretty much for the Modern Warfare beta and pretty much beyond. So if you guys want to tune into the daily streams, you know, maybe subscribe to me on Twitch as well. As you guys can see, it's 50% off tier one subs until the 24th. You want to help a big baller out, um, then go for it. I freaking love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support. And I hope you're loving the Modern Warfare beta. And I hope this game improves as uh, the game goes along. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. I love you all. Amen.